Now we are moving to the next step really. So remember, so remember to this flowchart. Just remember this flowchart. Know how to use it. Uh. It works. Uh. It works like wonders. So once you know that you need to do long division straight away, always think about long division first. Then you move to the second one. The top is a constant. Okay, if the top is a constant, you complete the denominator gx. Complete the square. This one is an important part here. Complete the square. So usually what happens is um you, you won't get so nice nicely uh, uh this form here. You won't get a completed square form here. Okay, you will get some some gibberish. So just remember to complete the square there. Complete the square is a bit in battle. Lah. When it comes to quadratic expression, that's why I always say in quadratic expression, when it's not completed the square, you should develop this uneasy uh unease in you. Right? I always feel very uneasy whenever I see an um uh, uh uncompleted square expression. So in this case here, uh you can't use cancelling method obviously because you, you, you cannot cancel anything on top. You differentiate this will be linear, right? You see this differentiate this will be six minus two x. Actually this is constant. Straight we know is MF26. Okay. So MF26 complete the square here. There will be uh minus x square plus six x plus one. Uh, this will be minus x square minus 6x plus 1. Uh, maybe I, I should just uh, slowly, uh, slowly. Minus x minus 3 square minus 9. So this will be 10. Minus 10. Okay, so uh, what we'll get is actually dx, then it's square root square. Uh, then it's MF twenty six. MF twenty six where this is just sine inverse, right? So this will be 